Okay, so welcome to the first topic we're doing in the flip learning approach. The topic is actually expanding brackets and the key skills we're looking at are multiplying terms and the second thing is adding and subtracting like terms. At any stage you can pause and uh, copy down notes at any stage and then keep working, working through. So we start off with what's a term in algebra. So we've seen terms 5a, 3x, minus 7m, all of those, we call them terms. So in the first one, 5a is called the algebraic term, the number at the front is called the coefficient, the letter, in this particular case a, is called a pronumeral, and a pronumeral is a letter that represents a number that we just don't know yet. Again, copy down if you need, and moving on. So what does 5a mean? Well, 5a just means you have five lots of a. And when you have a number, for instance, five lots of four, that equals 20. But when we have 5a, we just say we have five times a. Okay, so copy that down if you need to, and we move on. So what does m, n mean in words, and what's it the same as? I want you to pause, write down two answers, and then come back. So hopefully you might have m lots of n, whatever that means. Like for instance, 3 lots of 7. Lots of 10. Okay, what's it the same as? It's the same as n times n. What does x times x mean? What can be written as? And is it the same as 2x? So write down some answers and when you're ready, come back and have a look at mine. So x times x just means x lots of x. And for instance, 5 lots of 5, 8 lots of 8, etc. Now, xx times x could be written as xx. But what we do is we actually shortcut it to x squared. Now, this last one's a little bit tricky. Is x times x equal 2 times x? For instance, eg. So 7 times 7 equal 2 times 7. And the answer is no. It's 49. It's not equal to 14. So that means that x squared is not the same as 2x. Okay, that last idea, that's pretty critical. They're not the same things. So copy that down and then look at the next slide. So just have a go at those three questions. The last one's a little bit trickier because I put a minus sign, but when you're ready, have a go and then pause and then come back live. 5 times 4 is 5y, 2 times p is 2p, and the last one is just minus 4d. Okay, you'll have plenty of chance to practice these, so don't be too worried. So let's look at like terms, which is a really critical thing in this whole part of the topic. So when we've got numbers, like 8s and 7s, you can add or you can subtract, because we know the value. 8 plus 7, we know is 15. 8 minus 7, we know is 1. So can we do this? If you've got 2 lots of 5, 3 lots of 5, can we get an answer? Okay, have a go at that one, and when you come back live. And 2 lots of 5 is just 10, but 3 lots of 5 is 15. So the answer must be just 25. If you look at 2 lots of 5 and 3 lots of 5, we have 5 lots of 5, and that also equals 25. Now how does that help us with algebra? Have the next slide. So when we have the same pronumeral, we can add or we can subtract, but they've got to be the same. So 
is you've got five lots of A and you have two lots of A you have seven lots of A or in symbols five A plus two A equals seven A so have a look at the next one, have a go pause and then come back so three X plus two X is five X and you've still got to subtract four X and then five minus four is one X now obviously you can do that in one step or you can take it in little jumps. You can just do that one first and then subtract later, or you can just go right across in the first step. Copy that down and come to the next line. So we need to be very clear about like terms. They must be exactly the same before we can add or subtract. So are those the same? And the answer is no. x squared is x times x. x is just x. They're not the same. Look at the next one. mn, n, and n are not the same. So they're unlike. This one's very unlike as well. So copy that down and let's have the next slide when you're ready. So have a go at those three questions. Um, I've picked ones where they are like, so they're not too hard. And when you're ready, press play again for pause in the stage. So we've got the letter A, got the letter A, got the letter A. So the answer must have letter A. So three plus 4 is 7, 7 minus 2 is 1. Next one, x and x, so the answer must have x. 5 minus 1 is 4. And the last one, we got x squared, we got x squared, so the answer must have x squared. Nothing else, can't be x to the power of 4, because we're starting with x squared. And we've got 2 plus 4 is 6. So again, copy that down and come to the next line when you're ready. So we've got harder ones now. And these usually involve negative answers or when you've got more than one type. So 5a minus 7. We have a number line. 5a is above 0. And when we subtract, we go down. We go up by adding. So if you start with 5 and you subtract 7, when you go down to 0, you've used up 5, and so you've got 2 more to go. So the answer must be minus 2a. And again, you'll have plenty of pra practice on negatives. And the next one, just sort of group them together, 3x and minus 2x, in like terms. Minus 4x squared, go with x squared. So if you have a look at the blues, see that color the blue. 3x minus 2x is a separate question, that's 1x. And if you have a look at the greens, change it to green again. If you've got x squared and x squared, the answer must have x squared. And you've got minus 4, that is 0. Minus 4x squared is below the below and we're adding so we go up but we only go up one so it would be minus three again they're the ones you can have troubles with and you'll have a chance to practice so copy that down and then on the next slide is the final year. so there's the exercise we're going to be doing um, at any stage you can ask questions if you get stuck go back to the theory but that's the that's the first lesson <coughs>